When I got the idea of trying to do a coffee shop, I was looking on Craigslist for a coffee cart. And at the time I had like $1,280 in my pocket. I took all the money, emptied my account and went over there with like, please, I need this to get going today. He gave it to me for 1200 bucks and I had like $80 left. You know, I was like, okay, what do I do? And I have no money and a coffee cart and a dream. Like what, what's gonna happen next? My name is E.T. Rivera. I'm the owner and creator here at Tres Leches Cafe. One day when I was at home, I ran out of milk. And so I had to try to get any type of milk products that I had in the refrigerator. Like this much half and half, this much evaporated milk, this much condensed milk. So like mixing all these things together and I made my caramel latte that morning and it was so good. That's how I came up with the Tres Leches. And then with the name ended up coming to the Tres Leches Cafe. Yeah, this is, this is kind of where it all started. I used to come out here and set up the coffee cart on Saturday, Sunday mornings. And I think probably there was days where we're making like 50 bucks, 30 bucks. This is our first uh, standalone building. Yeah, you can even still see the silhouette where our banner was on the building right there. We left a mark on this place for sure. <laughs> After being there for two years, we took a chance on it coming here and I was so scared. This place, you know, was 3,000 square feet and the house that we're in was like 800 square feet before. How am I gonna pay rent at two places? It ended up being like the best decision I ever made for Tres Leches Cafe and for myself and my family. Our customers, they were going crazy for the weeks that we were closed. They were like, can I just come and get a strawberry or a chocolate? Can I come and just get in the Tres Aztecas from the back? So since we opened up, it's like we never closed. So for the past four years, I didn't even have a website. I'm not super computer savvy. That's something I was like really nervous about, but got the website from GoDaddy and it is so easy to use. Who wants to do the honors? The website is so important because it, it tells your story. You know what I mean? You can put my name out there and give that professionalism that a lot of small businesses seek. I can edit my website from my cell phone. If I want to change something, it's like that. It's phenomenal. What's up? Hey. How are you, man? Good. Good to see yeah, you. Come again. on in, man. So you've made me this amazing pumpkin cafe horchata. I'm gonna sip on this while we take a look a little bit deeper into your website. It's been helping a whole lot. Now we're processing uh, about three to five orders a week when normally we would have either one or none. Whatever my brain was thinking of how Tres Leches Cafe should or could look, that's exactly what you see when you walk through this building. And those are the dreams that I used to have when I had my coffee cart. I sit there and just close my eyes and imagine like what Tres Leches Cafe could be someday. I wanted Tres Leches Cafe to be like the third biggest coffee chain in America. I have people coming at me all the time trying to franchise the cafe and that's something that I'm trying to do. My goal is try to get me a general manager inside here so I can continue to move forward with growing the cafe as a company. Just a few weeks ago, we started selling more pan dulce than we do coffee and we sell a lot of coffee. And on the weekends, like almost every other person has their tray like stacked up and I'm just like, I don't know how to feel about it because like, I almost like want to cry. I'm like, thank you guys, you know, like, thank you so much. Like, I didn't expect like people to start doing that, but they do. The customers come here and they market this cafe every time they come in. They have their cell phones out when they walk in. They're taking pictures. They, when I'm watching them, once they walk around the corner, they have their phone on. They're documenting everything like there's some magical place they've never been to before. And they are, you know, and this is exactly what I created it for. 